Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. My name is Jenny and today we have a get ready with me once again. I love doing these chatty video with you guys because I think it really allows us to have like an open conversation and I just want to note one thing. I'm never ever ever I don't get offended by what anyone else has to say or if someone else has a different opinion than I do on a certain topic. Like my last video I talked about the I talked about um, wanting to be taken care of and wanting to marry someone of a higher social status and I don't think that, I personally don't see anything wrong with it and I think that there are plenty of women who actually have that kind of mindset and I think it's just not, um, I think people who are really into, or women who are really into being independent, women who are just like feminism all the way, like 50-50, Dutch relationship, whatever, things like that, I think that those women can be a little bit offended or feel like there is no progression when women like me come forward and say that we do want to be taken care of that we do prefer a relationship where the man is traditional and you know it takes care of everything and i think it's called like a high hypergamous hypergamous i think it's called a hypergamous relationship if i'm not mistaken but to me like i i was really open and honest and i I feel like a lot of people thought I expected like Louis Vuitton and Chanel and things like that and that's not at all I mean I can see how it can come across that way because my partner did tell me like make a wish list video like I'll shower you with this I'll give you this and that and that just wasn't how it was it wasn't how the relationship ended up being and people think that I left for that reason but no that's not the reason why it's it's just because this person didn't wasn't honest and I feel like honesty is really important in a relationship and if you are not able to okay this is like oh, like I feel like I'm just repeating myself but anyway so I, I followed up on that topic in this video and I also talked about kind of like school and just uh, uh, like real life applications that I can see from online and incorporating that into my life. What else did I talk about? I think I also talked about just being where I am today and not even imagining that it was like feasible or like attainable that like my lifestyle now is just something that was just so seemed so far out of reach but now is just something that's so completely normal to me and so I do talk a little bit about that and how I was able to kind of how my mindset is as far as quote unquote succeeding in life or just being at a comfortable spot in your life to where you are able to take care of yourself and just give yourself the things that you have always wanted or always dreamed of so I guess I kind of talk about a little bit a little bit about that and how it was possible for me I also talked about my lifestyle currently and kind of how I got to where I am and like I said nothing is like a walk in the park I feel like if you came from nothing you obviously had to work for you had to work for what you have you have to work for your lifestyle you have to work to make a living and I care for a cat so yeah I have to make sure that she's taken care of as well like 24 7 I feel like sometimes it's not easy and it can be a little bit uh, a little bit stressful at times of course but I talk about all of that in the video if you guys are interested in hearing what I do have to say I think um, I touched on a lot of topics as per usual like my I feel like my get ready with me now or I feel like now more than ever you guys are very interested in hearing what I have to say about uh, like dating topics and just I, I feel like it's really important to go into these kinds of conversations and uh, be able to be civil and have an open conversation and I ultimately think it's important to be respectful to everyone's opinions whether they agree with you or not like if someone didn't agree with me I'm not gonna be like oh my god like I'm gonna delete your comment or whatever like it's, it's an open conversation and I'm I am very open-minded so I really like hearing what other people have to say about certain situations or certain topics that I do talk about as well so yes I just want to mention that before we get started I do want to thank Dossier for partnering with me on this video Fruity Magnolia has been like my go-to scent right now and I get so many questions about it and it's just like my go-to. It's very similar to Versace's Bright Crystal which is actually retailing for $78 when Dossier is like a third of that which is crazy um, but the scents are almost like identical so it's it's really insane but Dossier is a perfume company that is based in France. All of their products are vegan and cruelty free which is really important and they also use really clean ingredients which is really great for the fur babies. They don't have the markup that other high-end perfumes do. I think it's really great that you can get designer designer scents for a fraction of the price which I think is really important. No one wants to spend an arm and a leg on things that they don't actually really need and so I think perfume is one of the things that you can splurge on and not feel guilty about it because with Dossier they make it possible. But anyway, they do give you a little sample size. 
<laughs> sometimes I just like cannot handle myself right now. But they do give you a little sample size so you can try this out before you actually open the big bottle. And what you're gonna do is just go ahead and use this for a week or for however long this is going to last you. You can decide whether or not you like how it meshes with your body chemistry or with your scent because I feel like perfumes kind of switch up throughout the day so I think it's really important that you use it beforehand and you kind of see whether you like the scent at the end of the day or if you like it better at the beginning of the day or try and mix it with perfumes that you already have that's one thing that I really love doing is mixing perfumes because I think it just makes like a signature scent on its own if you do decide that you like it you can obviously just keep the small sample size in like your purse or in your car wherever you might feel like you need perfume um, but it's not easily accessible so you can always just throw this in your car or in your purse or wherever and then you can have the big bottle to save at home so definitely recommend check them out down below you guys can use my code for some money off and I will also have some of the scents that I've been loving Fruity Magnolia is my favorite as well as wooden hyacinth Hyacinth, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's the perfume that I actually featured last month. I'm using it all the time and it's similar to Tom Ford's perfume as well. So definitely recommend to check that one out. Also on the perfume bottle, they do also note the top notes and the middle notes and base notes, which I think is really helpful. So you can see like, wow, well, what are you actually smelling in the perfume and what is probably your favorite underlying tone or underlying scents. That way you can easily look on the website and also see other perfumes that are similar with the ingredients and then that might also be something that you might like as well. So I think it's really helpful that they do put the top notes. So for this one, it's pomegranate, yuzu, aquatic accord. Um, middle notes are going to be magnolia, peony, and rose. I can definitely smell, you can smell pomegranate. I love pomegranate so much. It's like my favorite fruit. I think you can smell magnolia for sure. Yuzu, I'm not exactly familiar with the scent. I really, really love this one. This one is like really nice, really light. It's definitely a summer scent for sure, I feel like because I ever since I started wearing this I just feel like my mood just changes like in the summertime like cuz hello we're in the summertime but I feel like my mood just like switches up and I get so excited to like run my errands and do shit that I have to do so, yeah anyway uh, like I said my link will be down below as well as a coupon code so be sure to check them out without further ado let's get on to the video the cream that I'm gonna be using for my base is the Laura Mercier perfect cream and this one I really really like it um, it's just like a really nice consistency that allows the like the base to still be a little bit tacky But also moisturizing if you put it under the eyes, it can be a little bit heavy So I don't I just prefer not to do that, but my nose has been really dry lately It's peeling like every time I do my makeup, which is driving me crazy now that that's done You guys can see my skin has a little bit of a glow to it. I'm gonna move on to the brows Okay, so I know that after my last video will cause a little bit of trouble just a little bit. Um, I honestly didn't really expect that reaction. I I don't know what I thought to be honest. Like I didn't I didn't know if people were going to be favorable to my opinions and the things that I had to say about that subject, which was like saying that I wanted to be taken care of and I was basically looking for that in a relationship, which I don't I don't I still personally don't see anything wrong with it because it's just my point of view. But if you think differently and if you want to work in your relationship and you want to be able to have your own income and stuff like obviously i would never stop doing youtube i would never stop filming or doing my hauls or anything i think youtube is the one thing that i will always keep forever but obviously my nine to five job is something that i'm not too fond of i mean i have a lot of flexible flex flexibility so it helps but it's not something that i really want to do forever i don't know i i just think it was really interesting to see like different people's opinions and some people were saying oh you know i um I don't feel comfortable with my partner working all the time and it's like okay if you don't feel comfortable with that then that's on you that's your relationship which is like exactly why I just pointed out how I wanted my relationship to be so I there were just some comments that I actually I wanted to read some of them because I thought it was pretty interesting dating in LA is definitely like not easy I want to tell you that right now obviously it's not easy it's gonna take you a while to find somebody especially if you were looking for like a more serious serious relationship not something that's just casual not just the casual dating is just not my thing like I hate that I hate that I hate it and so I think someone commented that I wanted a hypergamous relationship which is basically being with someone of a higher social status or social you know like someone that's like wealthier than you which I guess yeah you can put me in that category which I mean yeah um, but I don't I don't know I, I think it's just kind of like the people that I surround myself with and the, like if you know people then you know people it's funny because the 
guys that I have dated, it's like I it's not really like from like a website or anything. Um, it's not like anything like that. So I just think it's kind of funny that you know I am on these sites, but it's really had no like it's kind of just stagnant. Like it gets you nowhere. But like connections and everything are just everything. And you can still set your standards, even if you meet someone on a website or even if even if you meet someone in real life, you can say like, hey, look, after a couple dates, of course, I think people thought that I was asking for gifts or, or something like uh, like right away, like when the relationship started. And that wasn't the case. Like the guy that I was seeing actually promised like a bunch of stuff and then he didn't follow through and then he was sending flowers and then he wasn't. And it just kind of felt like he didn't do the things in the beginning that he did to get me like he didn't do those things to keep me. So, because I guess he felt like he already had me, which wasn't the case at all, which is why I got upset and, like, understandably, I left. So, I think that's kind of how that went and it wasn't, like, I don't know, there's, like, no bad blood or anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not upset about anything. Like, I let, the older that I got, the more you had to just let go of things and not let them bother you. And being that I'm very, I'm a very strong-minded person, I don't let little things like that get to me. So, I really don't mind. I'm just kind of like, okay, you live and you learn and, you know, you just move on with life kind of how i just started viewing things even if you date in the same social circle it's kind of like where else are you gonna meet people like where else other than the people that you already know or the people that you've already like come across so for me i do know people that are in the same social circle as my ex um but he's it's like hard to explain without like explaining it <laughs> anyway we do like like the same social circles do cross paths sometimes like we know certain people you know certain people that knows these people but it's not like we've ever like met up at like a party or have seen each other at a party and stuff and it's like it's like i already know like his routine i already know like things that he does the things that he doesn't do um what he's interested in what he's not interested in so it's like i know whether or not i'm like kind of in the clear to go to these events and stuff but even then i don't really care about like my my ex or anything like i don't care if i would like run into him or anything because I, I know me, like, I look good, so I have no, like, bad blood against him, or I don't think anything, like, I don't think of him at all, so it's just, like, it wouldn't affect me in any way if we were to cross, to cross paths. Um, the point that I'm trying to make is that guys don't have the mindset where, like, oh, she slept around here, or, oh, she slept here, she slept there, like, guys don't really care about each other, like, they don't want to hear about your ex, they don't want to know who he is, they don't want to see photos, like, I don't know, I think men are just like that and I think women are the ones who are more so to put that title onto other women as like, oh, she sleeps around, oh, she's been around the block or she's done this, she's done that. Like, even if you just date two people in the same in the same social circle, they'll just be like, oh, you're a whore, you're this, you're that or whatever. And it's like, it's crazy because I don't know if it's because I'm younger or if because they see me as a threat but I, I personally don't think I am like I, I'm really not like labeling myself as that. You know, I've never tried to like take anyone's man like ever, 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 never done that. But um, I think women just really are not that friendly in those kinds of circles, especially if you are younger. I think they kind of look down upon you and they're kind of like, oh, well, my husband worked for this. Like, you haven't done shit. Like, they'll ask you, like, oh, where did you get your degree from? Or where are you studying? And just little things like that, like trying to just like put jabs at you as if you're not successful. And it's like, okay, well, you piggybacked off of your husband. So i don't see like you're this, okay like yeah you're a stay-at-home wife like i haven't even had the chance to like have babies with this person or like any of that like yeah you talk about marriage and stuff like that but it's like i'm still young like obviously i haven't experienced that and i think that older women just are not very understanding and they're just very catty like a lot more catty than i feel like younger girls like for me i i've told you guys this before that i am not the type of person to give other people chances i almost never and in any friendship that has um dissolved or any interactions that i've had with other people i have i personally like i could go through and explain every single one of them to like a third party person that has no relation to either parties that are involved in these situations and they can tell you that like yeah i'm not in the wrong or like i haven't done anything wrong or why would this person say and i'm a hundred percent honest in these situations and i don't sugarcoat anything i don't hide things that i say i don't hide things that the other person says i just say the the event as it happened and like 10 out of 10 times it's never my fault never my fault but i feel like if people want to leave your life if people want to move on or if they feel like you no longer serve a purpose in their life like that's fine that's fine like i'm okay with ending relationships that way like i'm very 
I'm very independent and I'm very、um, like self driven. So for me, having anyone that kind of is holding me back or anyone that is kind of just、uh, stagnant in their life or has no goals, no. Nothing to look forward to, I guess. That kind of just makes me feel like I'm stuck in, I'm stuck where I am. And I have, feel like it's almost contagious. Like you, you feel like you don't have any motivation to work. You don't have any motivation to go and do things, to work out if like the person that you're with all the time doesn't do those things. So that's why it's really important for me to surround myself with. Let me just continue. <laughs> I'm just like chattering.、Um, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. And this is probably. The, this was actually drying at first, but I think the more that I used it, the,、um, like, the less you have to use because you actually don't need a lot of this product at all. And I am also going to show you guys how I do my hair as well because I feel like my hair is something that I get a lot of questions about. So I wanted to just go ahead and show that to you guys. So this is a little bit darker for me. I don't know where my hourglass. Oh, here it is. So this is a little bit darker, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it under here. And then I also like to conceal because my neck, I don't know if you guys can see, like my shoulders and everything are darker.、Um, but I'm just gonna put it on my veins, just any little dark spots that I have, kind of like all, <laughs> all over, I guess. The red spots by my nose, my chin area. I have veins right here.、Um, and it might look like a lot, but honestly, it's, it's not. Like I promise you, it's not. It's not at all. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and pounce this in. But yeah, I. Realize early on that it's really important to surround yourself with people that are actually wanting to achieve more in their life and not just, not just for me, it's very hard for me to be around people that are happy with that are just like content. I feel like I'm I'm always looking for more, I'm always hungry for more, I'm always wanting to do the next best thing or look more into like finances and stocks and everything. And I'm doing that like 24 7. So for me, it's hard to just. Kind of be relaxed, I guess. And I have been told that I do have a problem with that, that I don't know how to just relax. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 27. Like, I can't I can't just sit down and relax. Like, I don't have, I, like, I'm not able to just retire at this age. I'm not able to just sit down and do nothing. Like, I can't do that. That's why living at the beach house, or the first beach house,、um, living at that beach house, I just couldn't. It was hard for me to wake up every day and look at the ocean and think, like, wow, my life is so perfect. Because, yeah, it's perfect, but in the back of my mind, I'm always like, damn, I could be kicked out any day. I could have to move any day. We could end our relationship whenever. Like, what am I going to do with my life? And that was really important for me to figure out. And I think the more that I felt the pressure of it, the more, the more it kind of did affect my relationship with the person because. I felt like I couldn't relax. Like, I always wanted to work. I was like a workaholic. I was always editing, like I said, because I didn't know what else to do. I was just pumping out videos. I was so excited and always trying to create content. And I think, of course, living in my space, it does make me feel a little bit less, a little less, what's the word? <laughs> like, a little less pressured. But I still also feel like, you know, I'm still that same girl. I'm still driven. I'm still motivated. I still. Want more, 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 but I learned how to do it at like a slower pace, I guess. <laughs>、um, just not as in a rush, but it's also hard because I've always lived my life so fast paced that anytime I do anything, people are like, Why are you walking so fast? Like, I'll just walk to Starbucks with my friend, and she's like, Jenny, you're walking so fast. And she gets annoyed. I don't know, I feel like my life is always in a rush, and I never really know how to relax, but I feel like when I'm, when I'm able to. Find someone that I am able to feel comfortable with that does allow that for me, I think like that'll ultimately be like my happiness because I feel like that's all I've wanted. And I've also always wanted to be a young mom. Like, I don't know if I told you guys that, but I wanted to be a mom like at this age, like at 28. Well, I'm not 28 yet, but when I do turn 28, then I'm like, damn. I have always wanted to be like a young mom. I've wanted to have kids at, like by now. And I feel like I have no regrets. In the past, but a part of me also just kind of feels like I've missed out a little bit seeing people who do have kids. And I don't know, I guess, I mean, I know it's not normal to have a kid at this age because just how millennials are now, we just, a lot of people are like, fuck them kids. But, and I get it, like, I get it, like, you know, not everyone wants that, but for me, I feel like that was always a dream of mine. Like, I've always wanted to have kids, I've always wanted to、um, be able to treat them to things that I didn't have when I was little. But I think that's why like, I spoil Jazzy so, so much, and people are always telling me, like, Jenny, you do too much. And I know that. Like, I know I, at one time, I think, like, in, was it June? Like, I went and I took her on a shopping spree, and I spent, like, $600 on her. Like, and then her birthday's this month, which is, like, stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just waited. 
I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape to do my contour. And honestly, like doing this just makes your face look so like way, way less cakey, which I love. I don't even use like that many products, really. So I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush and I just kind of push it up. So yeah, I, I thought that I would already have kids and stuff and I don't know, it's just pretty difficult. But anyway, I'm really like, I'm still loving life, obviously. I still do the things that I always do. Dating, yeah, I did get a lot of like really good advice from you guys which i'm really appreciative of and i feel like you guys really helped me um kind of like i i don't know just kind of helped seeing that some people you know viewed relationships the same way that i did and not in the matter of expecting gifts because i don't know i don't remember saying that in the video i don't think i said oh i expect to be showered with luxury gifts like i don't recall that at all yeah that was a little confusing to me because like i really don't remember i think i just said like I wanted to be spoiled and people like to get and ran with it which I think is kind of funny but I mean uh, it's fine it's fine whatever whatever you want to think it's fine for my blush I'm gonna use this Innisfree blush first and then I'm gonna like pack something on on top of it um, so let me see and I like to go over my nose and this looks like super super cute in photos which I love I did put quite a bit on as well. You can always tone it down later and blush fades like really, really fast for me. So that's why I pack on so much, but I will take some off like in a bit. So I'm gonna take this shade called MUA by Morphe. And I don't know if you guys remember, I used to use this all the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right over on top. And then I'm gonna use my bronzer. So I'm using the Goddess Bronzer. Uh, the same one that I use all the time. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some bronzer on my forehead I didn't really apply product on there because I don't really feel the need to um, I have like no blemishes no nothing on there. So it's not like necessity Yeah, I think like right now. I'm just taking it day by day work has been really really crazy and so I've had almost no time to go out to eat or to hang out with my friends and my friends are like working too and like one of my girlfriends in Long Beach she's like really busy nowadays so it's really crazy everyone's schedule is just really crazy but I'm actually really grateful for that because I can just focus on myself and focus on my health and not feel like pressure to like go out and do stuff and I mean and <laughs> my girlfriend and I we were actually talking about it and we were like oh my god we really need to budget because I know you guys see like we go out to eat and stuff but I never realized how much we spent until I actually like sat down and checked recently and I was just kind of shocked because I really didn't think that I spent that much on anything but going out to eat and like smoothies and everything that really caught up <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try to be better about that and not like actually like there's no reason for me to not cook at home i think cooking at home is obviously a lot cheaper as well then i'm gonna take this mac blush i mean this mac powder i'm just gonna take a little bit it's really light and just like set my under eyes with that because it's gonna add a little bit of coverage but also set it and then what do i usually do i did ask you guys to ask me some questions on instagram someone said do you get overwhelmed with too much monogram i do i actually do that's why i switched from like eco bags to like louis vuitton and then sometimes i'll just use my ysl bag but even that has a monogram on it i don't know the alma bb has actually been a really nice break from like all monogram and crazy and everything i think it's just a little bit low-key it's still not my favorite bag in my collection because i think i got the alma bb because i really wanted a capucine bag and so i just opted to just get that and that was like whatever but uh definitely not still not a forever bag for me because it's not like my favorite but yeah i've actually was looking speaking of monogram i was looking at the on the go tote and you guys know like i was looking at that a long time ago and i ended up getting the neverfull so i was actually considering considering i was actually i actually considered can i speak english i actually considered selling my neverfull mm as well as the alma bb and then pay the difference for whatever it is for the on the go tote and that way i wouldn't have like I, I feel like i'm getting overwhelmed with bags and i think it's just because when i started off i really loved louis vuitton and that was like my shit you know like i really loved it and i never realized how much other people were like obsessed with it as well like just as much as i was well this topper just makes 
the look complete. This is the Chroma Crystal Top Coat in Metal Bronze by Natasha Denona. It's like 30 bucks, I think, but honestly, this has lasted me like forever, like and ever and ever. I think since I lived at the house, right? I feel like I've been wearing it for a long time. Yeah, I really feel like Monogram and Louis Vuitton is just like, there are pieces that I want, but not like super loud and crazy pieces. Like, I really love the on the go tote. I feel like I'm over the Neverfull. Like, the Neverfull is just not my thing anymore. And I really loved it. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to use this for work when I go back to work next year. And I don't even, I still don't even have to go back into the office. Like, it's funny because I was telling. I was telling my boss that I actually wanted to work um, part-time and I was like, oh my god, I have to go back to full-time. He's like, Jenny, you've been full-time this whole time. And I was like, I know, I know, but really grateful. But here I have the iced latte lip liner and then also the hot chai. These are like fall. You guys, I cannot wait for autumn. Like I'm super excited for autumn to come because, oh my god, I just can't wait for my hot soy chais because I haven't been getting them hot. And then also for just like ice skating and stuff like i really love ice skating i actually tried looking for like an ice skating rink to like just skate because i just love that i don't really know how i feel about going to like the beach to go and ice skate and all of that or to go just skate at the beach and i don't know it's just not my thing it breaks if you like push down too hard then i'm gonna use the rotten lip and cheek oil I also wanted to mention like I got a lot of shit about like my relationship before like the one that just ended and um well it's, I don't know if it's really over <laughs> I know that people were saying shit because supposedly I had like moved on too fast and I didn't give it time to be single and the thing is like if you want to be single then be single but for me I'm mentally stable and I like I don't know I don't have like do I have issues do people who have issues say that they don't have issues because then I don't want to say that. Oh my god, I love this combo. Love, love, love. So like for me, I, I said this like 50 million times. I already prepared myself for the breakup with my long-term boyfriend, which is why I was able to move on so fast. Immediately after, I started dating and I was so happy. And obviously you're still sad. Like there's still trauma. Like when I have a partner, um, like before I go out and stuff, I obviously like let my guy know like hey like i'm going out with my girlfriend and stuff and it's not like 21 questions and it's so weird to me because i'm so used to that or i'm so used to like oh you're going to hollywood like you're gonna go be with your girlfriends like oh you're gonna go get hit on uh you're looking for other dudes like you're looking to get picked up and things like, like just stupid things like that like i was so used to that and so i kind of took that and brought it onto like my next relationships which is actually worse like i feel like everyone should get like a clean slate give everyone the benefit of the doubt like don't bring your trauma from your last relationship to your current relationship because then it just doesn't work out and it makes it like 10 times worse and it's harder to move on that way and so for me that was my problem like i kept thinking like okay when is he going to yell at me when is he going to say this when is he going to do that when is he going to be like um manipulating or emotionally abusive like just little things like that kept popping up in my mind and I kept thinking like okay when is it gonna happen and it just didn't happen and so I think once you like detach or you can distinguish the difference between people's behaviors and things like that it will make you feel a little bit better about your current situation or your current relationship anyway <laughs> um I know people were saying that I moved on too fast. They were saying like, oh, she's, she just wants to get in another relationship because she has no money, because she wants money from somebody. And I've never been with anyone, like, like in the past, since I've been single, I have not been with anyone for financial support or anything like that. Like no one has, or let me put it this way, no one has provided that for me. I've seen people say things like, oh, I'm only getting into relationships so I can get financial support from men. And that's like not at all like, what it is. first of all even if i was who gives a fuck <laughs> even if i was but I, i'm not but i'm just saying i just feel like people can't accept the fact that i'm you know doing things on my own and being able to like live my life and fund it myself and i think it's really hard it's a really hard pill to swallow because i know people who have lived with their boyfriends for like forever and ever and ever and have like no plans of moving out or they it's their way of saving money and 
that's completely fine and i know that like the uh, honestly i feel like apartments in la are not that expensive i don't know about anywhere else but i feel like in la they're not too too expensive to where it's like unattainable in la you have to have like multiple sources of income you can't just rely on your day job i feel like because i don't even think like that would be enough i don't i don't even know how much minimum wage is right now like because I, I don't get paid minimum wage so i'm not exactly sure but i just okay i'm gonna have to move this tree like back there but yeah i don't know like what the age gap is i don't know what minimum wage is but i just know that you definitely as soon as i like had the idea of like moving out and stuff i immediately knew that i had to have multiple streams of income i already knew like i wasn't going to be able to do it on my own wait let me retract so i knew that i wasn't going to be able to do it just based off of like my one office job like i obviously have like multiple streams of income and that's like my personal stuff <laughs> like my stocks and everything and um i do take my money out i do play around with the stock market i pull out i put back in i pull out i put back in um wait for it to crash put back in and just like things like that i also have been into crypto recently and these are all things like you can find videos on them i don't want to dedicate my life or my channel explaining these things to you because i learned on my own with the internet so i feel like if i'm able to do it well i mean i don't know i'm kind of smart but um i feel like it's just self-explanatory like just watch videos educate yourself it's gonna take some time you're not gonna learn overnight or uh, maybe you will but it, it'll take some time for you to understand it and because I am in finance it makes it a little bit easier you guys know I'm still in school actually I have my last year to go this coming semester which I'm or not this coming year so I'm super excited about that I cannot wait I cannot wait to be done like I'm so excited and um, this year is going to be a little bit challenging for me just because it's all of my um, upper division classes I did not graduate last year I, I think someone asked me that but no, I didn't graduate last year, nor did I want to actually. I didn't really have a good support system last year as far as school was concerned. So I was always just really, I don't know, I guess I was always really just like worried about like myself and kind of like, can I finish school? Can I do it? No, last year when I wanted to start going back to school, which I did, I didn't really have like that great of a support system. I kind of told my mom and she was like, oh, that's really cool. I'm really happy for you. But other than that, like my partner at the time was not supportive of it which kind of made me sad but i just had to like live with it but i mean all in all i feel like it was just a good like i'm just so proud of myself that i ended up going back and i know i talk about this all the time but like i'm so happy that i was able to finish this year off strong because i never thought that i could see like a's and b's on my report card again because like when i did the years at cal state san bernardino i really did not i really just was not motivated i didn't care i was really bad i would drink all the time even now like my friends ask me like oh. like i drink i think that's probably one of the things that i do a lot like i drink a lot but i actually like have a pretty high tolerance and i can control myself so i think that's really really good and i kind of know like when to stop like you have to know when to stop especially in like public settings obviously because it's like borderline embarrassing anyway my point being <laughs> about school sorry I'm sitting like this. I'm just trying to show you guys like how I'm doing my hair uh, without really explaining it. But yeah, I think that school was definitely one of the things that kind of like opened my eyes and was like, wow, Jenny, get back into it. But it's not like you need school to succeed because for me, I feel like I'm to me, my definition of success is not where I am today. It's what I envision myself for the future. But I also feel like little me would think like, wow, you're successful, like seeing myself today because I never in a million years would imagine myself in a high rise with the beautiful like 180 skyline view of downtown LA which is insane to me. I know I showed you guys my view like in my uh, one of my vlogs because the sunset was just so unreal. I I know that little me would be so so happy and so excited and of course I should celebrate my little achievements but I'm so hard on myself that I really don't do that. I kind of just think like okay how can you better yourself? How can you do better? How can you you know get something bigger or get a bigger apartment or but just like how can I always like better myself? I'm just always thinking about that and it's not because I don't like my current situation it's just because I always think about that. I always think about like how can I be better? How? And the possibilities are just endless. Like you guys, you guys just, 
try to be motivated watch things that motivate you like i know you guys are sitting here watching me and i'm just doing makeup and doing my fucking hair and stuff but it's not like i'm not like oh my god so this is what you have to buy this is what you need i mean okay this video is in partnership with dossier but aside from that i'm not sitting here like trying to sell you guys lies trying to sell a dream or anything i'm not being unrealistic about anything in life like honestly if <laughs> you guys like where let, hold on can, let me just do this really quick like just know you guys like if i could get out from my situation from where i was when i was like younger oh my god like so i don't even know like how to explain this right now i don't even know if i want to share this this is like crazy so i was like i actually used to work in like a warehouse it wasn't like an amazon warehouse but i told you guys that like i, I worked there while i was living in rancho minimum wage i think at the time it was like 850 which was crazy and i had a I had an apartment i was like working all the time so i was actually like almost never there and in rancho and before that i was like living on my friend's couch like trying to get back on my feet i was struggling i wasn't in contact with my foster family i wasn't in contact with my biological family like i didn't talk to them at the time dude life was life was super super rough and if i can get out from like I'm so grateful that I had that friend. I, if I told you guys like what I went through in the past and like from like where I am today, you guys would be like, what the fuck? Like I would have never thought like your life was like that, like because it was crazy. I think like just everything <laughs> can I take myself seriously like this right now. I just can't even believe that like from where I was back then to like today, if you told me that if you told me back then that I would be living my life like how i live it today i wouldn't have believed you like a thousand percent no i wouldn't have also don't brush your curls yet until you're actually like ready to go so just leave them like that and then i'm gonna remove this one just because i need some rollers and i'm too lazy to go get more um and then i'll take this one out too do it gently don't do it that hard i'm just an idiot <laughs> so like i was saying i would not believe I would not believe anyone like if a fortune teller told me like I would be where I am today I would be like no girl you're crazy like I don't even know how well I would probably actually try to manifest it if I heard it from like a fortune teller like that was what the cards what was in the cards then yeah I would believe it but I don't know I just I would have never imagined I had this girl to take care of <laughs> Luna I don't know it's crazy like I never I knew I was gonna move out like from the house but I just didn't know when like I, I remember I gave you guys some hints and you guys are like when are you moving out like why do you keep saying like oh when I move out I'm gonna get long nails when I move out like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and stuff and I was like I don't know I guess I was just being really hopeful <laughs> that, uh, that my life was just gonna work out on its own and I think when you're very positive like it really does the shampoo that I'm using right now is like bio biolage or something or I don't know something with like biotin I don't even remember what it is called but my hair is pretty long it's not as long as i want it to be to be honest i wish it was a little bit longer but i just keep trimming it and trimming it and it just like i don't know i feel like it keeps getting shorter and shorter because like the more i trim it the more split ends will like come to the new growth i feel but i also apply heat on it pretty often which is like my bad i shouldn't do that i just feel like i haven't found anything that heats up my hair or curls it the way that i want it to be curled and i tried like that tube thing from tiktok and that just did not work out for me <laughs> let me just go ahead and finish this and then let me just finish this and then i'll go ahead and um chat more with you guys in a bit
Okay, so you guys saw me curling it and everything. This is basically like what I do every time I curl my hair. Sometimes I don't leave it in the rollers like that long, but I know it looks like I'm pulling my hair, but I'm not like, it, it's not like that. Um, I don't really leave my hair in the rollers like too, too long, but I just like didn't really have much to do. <laughs> so yeah, so it'll look something like that. And then the top portion, kind of just put it back and then it goes to like little curtain bangs, if you guys can see. So just like that, and then basically, um, this top is just Princess Polly. I'll have it linked with a little affiliate link. <laughs> okay. I'm just putting some Olaplex oil. This is my second bottle. I have a third one ready to go already. So I'm just gonna run this, my fingers, through my hair and put it on like so, whatever. And then I'm gonna take my um, clip comb. This one's from Daiso, I love this one. If you guys have long hair, you guys need like a big one like this. This is a big one, but this is like a, like a standard size, if you guys can see that. Watch. Okay, so, yeah, standard size, the big one, <laughs> big difference, but I this is like perfect for when like I need to do stuff. Um, so if I forget a comb, I just bring this one. I always have this one with me. So I just comb through it, kind of just let it, my hair has a little static today and I don't know why. So you can see the difference. And then I'm just gonna comb through this side. Just gently, <laughs> not as hard as I did. Okay, okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I just spray like the tips. Just to give it some texture. And then this is the way hairspray, by the way. Um, I really like Tresemme's one better because it has a stronger hold and it's like does something. Um, this one I feel kind of just gives it like I don't know what. Um, honestly, the way hairspray just gives it like a little bit of texture. It's called the yeah texturizing hairspray. Um, but does it hold it? I don't think so. It doesn't really give it much of a hold, which is why when I go up the hill, I'm gonna um, go to Marshall's to get the big sexy hairspray because that's just like the one that I need the most. But yeah, that's basically how I do my hair. Um, like nine out of 10 times, I probably just do it like this. If I'm really, really lazy, then I will just curl it and then like just go. Nine out of 10 times, like if I'm going to dinner or if I have like dinner, <laughs> that's all. It's the only thing that I go to these days. Um, yeah, if I'm going to dinner, I'll just do my hair like this and it's fine. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you guys like seeing how I did my hair. I'll probably try to do like a different style next time, but this is like my go-to like every day. That's all that I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Dossier in the description bar down below, as well as use my coupon code because that will give you some money off. And I'm working on another vlog for you guys, so do not worry, it will be coming. And I also have some bag videos for you guys. Of course, I talked about my Speedy B25. Um, I also wanna talk about the, there was another bag. I think my Nano Speedy probably. Anyway, I'm so excited for this coming week because it is going to be Jazzy's birthday. So hopefully I will have a birthday vlog for her because I'm really excited to like show you guys everything that we do. But yeah, thank you guys so much once again and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!